Hello, my name is Hans van Ees. I'm a professor of corporate governance and institutions. And uh, in this presentation, I would like to provide you with some information regarding one of the majors in social sciences of the University College Groningen, and that's the uh, program in philosophy, politics, and economics. To illustrate the relevance of the program, I would like to start with an example. In the slide, you see the United States and the states of the United States, as well as their biggest import trading partner. As you can see in the north, the, uh, <coughs> the biggest uh, trading partner uh, is Canada, which is not so, uh, such a surprise, but you can also see the, um, <coughs> the relevance of the emerging economy, China, and you can also see where Mexico is the biggest trading partner. This slide shows the absolute upward mobility of an average child from below medium parents. As you can see, particularly in the southern states, this upward mobility is relatively low. And it's precisely in the southern states where emerging economies such as China, as well as Mexico, are the biggest import trading partners. Now to conclude this example, <clears throat> this is a slide where Donald Trump supporters live. Now, taking the three slides together illustrates that uh, in a southern state, emerging economies such as China and Mexico are the biggest import trading partners. The southern states are also the states where the upward mobility of uh, children from below medium parents is low. And the southern states are also the states where most Donald Trump supporters live. <clears throat> the previous example illustrates the interaction between the politics and economics. Many societal challenges require a political solution, have an important economic dimension, and pose us for ethical dilemmas. This is true for natural disasters, it's true for migration challenges, for global warming issues, and for trade and investment partnerships such as TTIP. This is because uh, what we're discussing is the role of institutions in society. Institutions are the, role, are the rules of the game in a society, and they determine how societies function. And economics and political science look at these institutions from the perspective of how they work and what incentives they provide to citizens. Philosophy addresses the ethical implications of this kind of behavior. So it does study how institutions should treat its citizens. To conclude, the program in philosophy, politics and economics brings together three relevant academic lenses to address challenges in society. Now let's see how the program looks like at the University College Groningen. A major program in social sciences consists of 90 credits. That's about half of the full bachelor program of liberal arts and science of 180 credits. In the first year, students take 100 level courses. In the context of the PPE program, <coughs> a student has to choose 20 credits in the domains of philosophy, politics, and economics. And what this slide shows is um, several options of courses that you can choose in the first year. So, for instance, you could choose for a course in political philosophy dealing with issues at uh, who, should, who should rule in society and how should rights be 
distributed, or you follow an ethics course. Uh, from in the economic pillar, you can choose uh, a microeconomics course or a macroeconomics course, and in the political science pillar, you could choose for courses such as policy making in the European Union, law in an expanding world, fundamentals in society, the social environment, or law as order. After completing your first year of liberal arts and sciences, <clears throat> you proceed to the second year. And uh, in the second year, if you uh, continue to follow the PPE program, uh, your major, uh, you have to choose 35 credits uh, of courses uh, in your in your major of philosophy, politics, and economics. Now, three courses are mandatory courses. These courses are philosophy of the social sciences, models of democracy, and political economy. And you complement these mandatory courses with <coughs> additional electives. In, for instance, the philosophy pillar, you could choose for freedom and responsibility, ethics and international business. When it's, it's political science, you could choose courses such as global justice or international relations. And in the economic pillar, you can choose for global development studies, econometrics, or other uh, sort of related courses. And obviously, your PPE program uh, continues into the third year of liberal arts and science. Also in the third year of liberal arts and science you have to complete 35 credits in your major. Now out of these 35 credits uh, there is a mandatory capstone course of five credits and there's a mandatory bachelor thesis uh, which is your capstone project uh, of 10 credits. Next to that, uh, you do have to select uh, 20 credits of electives in the PPE field. Uh, you can do this either um, on your study abroad, where you can, for instance, um, complete 10 credits in your major program, and the remaining 20 credits can then be added to your minor. Uh, or you can do this uh, also uh, at University College Groningen where you uh, can choose courses uh, such as critical theory, reliability, uncertainty and trust, religion and politics, polity and governments, uh, growth institutions and business, or history of economic thought. After you've concluded your PPE Bachelor, uh, well, the, the major has prepared you for masters in a wide variety of directions. And <clears throat> the, the possibilities are, are very wide. Uh, but for instance, at the University of Groningen, uh, at the Faculty uh, of Philosophy, the Faculty of Economics and Business, or in the Faculty of Arts, you can continue into a PPE master. But you can also choose for study in international business management international economics and business, philosophy, philosophy of the social sciences or international relations and international organizations. And of course, uh, to be complete, uh, a program in philosophy, politics and economics prepares you for a, variety, for a wide variety of uh, different positions. Uh, you can find after your master, you can find jobs in politics and economics at local and national government agencies. Uh, you can take a job into journalism at academic institutions, in consultancies, and even at global institutions such as the World Bank and United Nations. This concludes our little presentation of our exciting program in philosophy, politics, and economics. We've hope you we've been able to provide you with some useful information about the program and that you're excited. Should you want to have more detailed information, then please do not hesitate to contact us at the email addresses that are listed uh, in the slide. Thank you very much for your attention.